Ever wondered what SpaceX uses for their heat shield? How do they work? Does Falcon 9 have a heat shield? And what is the cost of it? Let's find out. Before we proceed, a big hello to everyone across the globe. If you are new to our channel, we welcome you and are so glad to have you on board. Make sure to check out our other videos from SpaceX updates. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep yourself updated from the very latest. Starting off with what SpaceX uses for a heat shield. It's hextiles. The spacecraft's ultimate heat shield will be made up of several hex tiles, hexagonally shaped pieces of ceramic shielding designed to diffuse the massive amounts of heat generated during re-entry in Earth's atmosphere. SpaceX posted a video of several heat tiles being hyperheated using multiple torches. Musk added in a subsequent tweet, white hot portions achieved orbital entry temperature of roughly 1650 Kelvin. The tiles are intended to cover the side of the enormous vehicle that is facing the Earth as it descends belly first. Musk confirmed in 2019 that no heat shield is required on the leeward or backside. Meanwhile, a transpiration cooling mechanism will ensure that Starship is ready to fly again quickly after landing, according to the CEO. Since at least the early scaled down Starhopper, SpaceX has been testing the tiles. However, the tiles themselves have most certainly undergone numerous modifications and changes since their creation. That being said, SpaceX found unexpected erosion on its spaceship's heat shield after its first NASA astronaut mission, so it revamped the system. After carrying its first humans this summer, SpaceX discovered unexpected damage on a section of its Crew Dragon space spaceship. On May 30th, NASA astronauts Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley flew to the International Space Station on the Demo-2 mission. The two men stayed for two months before surviving a violent fall from Earth's atmosphere and splashing down in the Gulf of Mexico on August the 2nd. Now the question arises, how does it work? Well, the thermal protection system consists of a series of heat-resistant tiles that line the underbelly of the ship. Crew Dragon is protected by it by deflecting and absorbing heat that can reach 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit as the space capsule plummets through the atmosphere, creating superheated plasma on its surface. While the Crew Dragon capsule was still connected to the space station, NASA inspected the heat shield for damage. Small pieces of space debris could have destroyed the ship's thermal shield during its two-month attachment to the orbiting laboratory. The check, which used a robotic arm on the space station and some onboard cameras, found no abnormalities. SpaceX found the issue in its heat shield only after Benkin and Hurley returned to Earth. But these are the kinds of concerns that Benkin and Hurley's demo trip was supposed to uncover and resolve. NASA tested five samples of the new tile in a wind tunnel at its Ames Research Center in California, recreating landing. It's unknown why the extreme heat shield erosion didn't reveal itself on the last demo trip. An uncrewed test flight in which Crew Dragon launched, docked with the space station and returned to Earth with no human passengers. Quinnersman hypothesized that the capsule may have avoided the problem since it was lighter and took a slightly different path on that trip. At the end of the day, he remarked, it's amazing that we found it on this ride. This was not at all a dangerous situation. This is something that has been noticed. Now let's talk about the cost. A more traditional heat shield, on the other hand, absorbed the heat of re-entry through combustion, managing heat by charring and burning up a little at a time during descent. It cost around $30,000 per square foot and could only be used once. NASA engineers rapidly realized that more layers of insulation and padding were required. Columbia was the first man tested in the development of a reusable heat shield through trial and error. Every shuttle flight had loose tiles, cracked tiles, shattered tiles, abraded tiles, or missing tiles. Columbia was armored with 34,000 tiles when it took off for the first time. 
As NASA has refined and enhanced the materials used in the heat shield, each space shuttle now has 24,000 to 26,000 tiles. According to NASA officials, each tile is a ceramic souffle that costs $2,000 and $3,000 to create. Every tile is still one of a kind. Some are white, some are black, and some have been bundled into warm blankets. Engineers utilize four types of insulation, each with a different temperature tolerance. In some ways, the tiles will always be an experiment. Nobody has ever flown such stuff back and forth from space on such a large scale. Nobody knows how long they will be able to go on. If we talk about technology, the Pika shield is being used by SpaceX. Pika, phenolic impregnated carbon ablator, is made of carbon fiber. It employs phenolic as a transfer agent. The phenolic may be reloaded and reused hundreds of times. If the phenolic is not reloaded, you receive 10, 20 re-entry reuses. SpaceX Starship is attempting to obtain a thermal shielding that will endure the whole life of the vehicle. Pika heat shields are manufactured by Fiber Materials Incorporated and SpaceX. For the next Starship, SpaceX is developing a metallic thermal protection system, a TPS. Dan Rasky admits that it is a challenging challenge, but he feels SpaceX has a good chance of solving it. With all of this, we have come to the end of our video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. We appreciate your love and support for our channel. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time guys, see ya.